You think I'd be in a pretty good mood right now? I mean. <laughs> Successfully defended the Canadian Championship. I got started third in the Premier Rumble and lasted until the very end, but, but sometimes second place just isn't good enough. No. Now I got this real sour taste in my mouth, too, and it's all thanks, all thanks to you, JL Spiker. I know who you are. I've been watching. I've been paying attention. American. Wearing that red, white, and blue like a badge of honor. That country was built on freedom, bravery, and fighting for what you believe in. Are you any of those things, Spike, or no? All you are is a man who preys on fear and hatred of others and a desperate cry for attention. I think we like to call that thing a troll. Do you know what we do to trolls online, JL Spiker? We oust them. Then they get blocked. And then they get deleted from the system. That's exactly what I plan on doing to you. I bet! Begged for this match with you, Spiker, for the Canadian Championship. Because I want to remind you that you're swimming in some much deeper waters than you ever have before. Do you think you're just going to walk in and steal this thing and rebrand it to the United States Championship? Got another thing coming there, Spiker. This, I said, is a symbol of opportunity, and you've earned it, alright? <laughs> you sure have. You've earned an opportunity to have your ass kicked all over Rogue Bluff in just a couple days. And that's gonna happen. I don't think the power of the golden ticket has passed by me. No, I am very well aware that I could win the match. You could still walk out with the PCW Canadian Championship. And I'm gonna remind you that I'm not a doormat. I'm not a stepping stone. I'm the social media superstar, the glitch in the system, four-time Canadian champion, and the man who's held it for 780 days. This is my property. And if you want to take it, you're going to have to cross that border and fight me for it like a man. I think you're in for a little bit of a surprise, Spiker. One on one, me and you face to face, you're going to realize things don't always go your way.